Welcome to Pajama Storytime. I'm Miss Robin from the Whittier Public Library and it's time to hop into your comfies and get ready for some bedtime stories and some maybe some songs too. All right, so let's go ahead and start by welcoming everyone here to Storytime. We're going to sing, welcome, welcome everyone. Now you're here, we'll have some fun. First we'll clap our hands just so. Then we'll bend and touch our toes. Can you reach them? Welcome, welcome everyone. Now you're here, let's have some fun. All right, everybody. Now what's one of the things some, some of you might like to do before you go to bed? Let's think. Does anyone like to take a bath? Can you show me how you scrub your hands? Scrub, 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 scrub. Let's do it together. This is the way we scrub our hands, scrub our hands, scrub our hands. This is the way we scrub our hands before we go to bed. Good job, what else should we scrub? We should clean other things too. What else should we scrub? Our head? All right, let's try it. This is the way we scrub our head. Scrub our head, scrub our head. This is the way we scrub our head before we go to bed. Good job. What else should we scrub? How about our tummy? Good job. Let's do it together. This is the way we scrub our tummy, scrub our tummy, scrub our tummy. This is the way we scrub our tummy before we go to bed. What up? Shall we scrub our arms? All right, let's do it. This is the way we scrub our arms, scrub our arms, scrub our arms. This is the way we scrub our arms before we go to bed. How about our stinky feet? Let's, stick, let's scrub our feet. This is the way we scrub our feet, scrub our feet. Scrub our feet. This is the way we scrub our feet before we go to bed. Good job. Let's see. Can I smell you? Mmm, super fresh. All right, everybody, it's time for our first story, and we are reading What the Ladybug Heard by Julia Donaldson and illustrated by Lydia Monks. Here we go. What the Ladybug Heard Once upon a time, there lived a fat red hen, a duck in a pond, a goose in a pen, a woolly sheep, a hairy dog, a handsome horse, and a dainty dog, a fine prized cow, two cats that purred, and a ladybug who never said a word. And the cow said, what did he say? Moo. And the hen said, quack. Yes, said the goose. And quack, said the duck. Nay, said the horse. Quack, said the hog. Ba, said the sheep. And woof, said the dog. And one cat meowed while the other one purred. And the ladybug never said a word. Silence. But the ladybug saw and the ladybug heard. She saw two men in a big black van with a map and a key and a cunning plan. She heard them whisper, this is how we're going to steal the fine prize cow. Uh-oh. Is stealing a good thing? No, it's a bad thing. These are bad guys. We'll open the gate in the dead of night, pass the horse, and turn right. Round the duck pond, pass the hog, 
be careful not to wake the dog. Left past the sheep and straight ahead, in through the door of the prize cow's shed. Wow, they made a map and everything. Then, help, was the ladybug's very first word. And gather round, were the second and third. She told the animals, this is how. Two thieves are planning to steal the cow. They'll open the gate in the dead of night, past the horse, and then turn right. Round the duck pond, past the hog, being careful not to wake the dog. Left past the sheep, then straight ahead, and in through the door of the prize cow shed. And the cow said, what do you say? Moo! And the head said, hen said, quack! Hiss! said the goose, and quack! said the duck. Nay! said the horse. Oink! said the hog. Bah! said the sheep. Woof! Said the dog. And both cats began to meow. We can't let them steal the fine prize cow. Hmm, how can they stop them? Well, the ladybug told them not to fear, and she whispered her plan into every ear. In the dead of night, the two bad men, Hefty Hugh and Lanky Len, Opened the gate while the farmer slept, and tiptoed into the farm they crept. And then the goose said, Nay, with all her might. And Len said, That's the horse, turn right. <laughs> goose doesn't say nay, I think she tricked him. The dainty dog began to quack. The duck said Hugh, we're on the right track. Boink, said the cats. There goes the hog. Be careful not to wake the dog. Ba 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 said the fat red hen. The sheep were nearly there, said Len. The duck on the pond said, moo, moo, moo. Two more steps to go said Hugh. And they both stepped into the duck pond. Splash! And the farmer woke and said, golly gosh! And he called the cops and they caught the men, Hefty Hugh and Lanky Len. Then the cow said, what do you say? Moo! And the hen said, quack, quack, quack. Hiss, said the goose, and quack, said the duck. Nay, said the horse, quack, said the hog. Ba, said the sheep, and woof, said the dog. The farmer cheered, and both cats purred, but the ladybug, she never said a word. Let us see. Wow, quiet ladybug. Save the day. Good job, ladybug. All righty. Now, we are still on the farm. And if you remember our song from the past couple of weeks, you know that we have some noisy animals on our farm. So, can you tell me who is this friend? Who's this? And cat on the farm says, meow, 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 meow. The cat on the farm says, meow, 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 all night long. Shh, cat, it's time for bed. And then, who is this? It's Donkey! Yes! And Donkey, what does Donkey say? What does Donkey on the farm say? He says, hey ha! <laughs> That's what he says. The Donkey on the farm says, hee ha! Hee 
Ah, ee, ah, the donkey on the farm says, ee, ah, all night long. Shh, donkey, it's night time. It's time for bed. So you are the farmer. Are you ready to join me? The farmer on the farm says, go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep. The farmer on the farm says, go to sleep all night long. Good job. The animals are sleeping. Good job. Good job, everybody. All right. That means it's time for another story. Here we go. This is called Mac and Cheese by James Promios. Pro Promos. Promos. Here we go, guys. Mac and Cheese. Probably Promos. Sorry, guys. Well, it is breakfast time with Mac and cheese. Here we go. After a lovely breakfast, Mac and cheese went on a long walk. Mac, you're the smartest noodle I know, said cheese. I can't argue with that, cheese, said Mac. There's probably nothing you don't know, is there, Mac? asked cheese. There is no probably about it, answered Mac. What is one plus one, Mac? asked Cheese. That's too easy. Please tell me, begged Cheese. One plus one equals two, said Mac. Holy moly, yelled Cheese. I'm greatly impressed. Mac, I have another question, said Cheese. Ready when you are, said Mac. What is the second letter of the alphabet? Tricky, right? Asked Cheese. That's not tricky at all, Cheese. The second letter of the alphabet is B, answered Mac. Molly, holy, yelled Cheese. You have a big, big brain. Cheese thought long and hard about this next question. Finally, it came to him. Mac, what is two plus B? Asked Cheese. Mac blinked seven times. I don't think I heard you correctly, Cheese, said Mac. Could you repeat the question? What is two plus B? Mac thought long and hard about this question, even longer and harder than it had taken Cheese to come up with the question. In fact, he thought so hard, it looked like he might hurt himself. Uh-oh. Don't worry about it, Mac. It was just a silly question, said Cheese. No, no, I almost have it figured out, said Mac. That's all well and good, but I have a much better question, said Cheese. Are there any two friends who belong together more than we do? Of course there are no friends who belong together more than we do, answered Mac. Even I knew that one, laughed Cheese. I knew you knew said Mac. Just then, Mac noticed two jars playing catch in the field. Hey, look, it's PB and J, said Cheese. Oh no, not them, said Mac. Then it was time for lunch. After a light lunch, Cheese decided to create a large painting. When Mac walked into the room, he was very confused. What on earth is that? asked Mac. It's an orange, of course, answered Cheese. But it's blue. Oranges are orange. Not in my painting, said Cheese. Follow me to my kitchen, said Cheese. Mac followed Cheese. Check out this picture of an orange that I taped to my refrigerator, said Cheese. You're going to love it. This is all wrong, said Mac. It's the color orange, is it not? asked Cheese. 
Yes, it is orange, but it's a triangle, said Mac. Oranges are round. Not in my painting, said Cheese. Follow me to my dining room, said Cheese. Mac followed Cheese. Check out this picture of an orange that I hung over the fireplace, said Cheese. That's just a painting of you, Cheese. It is me, Mac. After I ate an orange, it's in my tummy. In your tummy? I'm outraged, said Mac. Sometimes art should be outrageous, said Cheese. Follow me outside, said Cheese. Mac followed Cheese. Check out this mural I painted, said Cheese. I think you will like it. That is the worst picture of an orange I've ever seen, said Mac. Just then, Salt and Salt showed up and said in unison, That is awful. Mac, this is not another picture of an orange, said Cheese. It is a picture of my best friend. Me? asked Mac. Oh my, am I a big red blob? No, Mac, you are the yellow smudge because you are the brightest of all. Now we see, said Salt and Salt. We like it. Do you like it, Mac? asked Cheese. It's a masterpiece, Cheese. You are a great artist. That makes me so happy, Mac, because you are always right, said Cheese. Well, not always. I may have been wrong about your paintings of oranges. Oh, boy, yelled Cheese. I said I may have been wrong, said Mac. Still, oh, boy, yelled the very happy Cheese. And then it was dinner time. After dinner, Mac and Cheese went for a long walk. What a beautiful night, said Cheese. Look, the Big Dipper, said Mac. Fantastic, said Cheese. You may want to paint that, said Mac. I just might, said Cheese. Mac and Cheese walked a bit further. Do you hear that, said Mac? Cheese listened hard. I don't hear a thing, said Cheese. Exactly, isn't it beautiful? Yes, said Cheese, it is. But suddenly, a loud commotion broke the beautiful silence. It was oil and water. They were arguing about the weather. Oil was yelling that it was going to rain, and water was yelling that it was not going to do anything of the sort. Sheesh, said Cheese after oil and water passed by. On that note, let's call it a day, said Mac. And that's what they did. That night, Cheese dreamed of numbers and letters. Eventually, he was dreaming of Z's. It reminded him of his friend Mac. And that made him happy. And he slept very well. That night, Mac dreamed of purple broccoli. Mac knew broccoli was usually green, but he liked it because purple broccoli reminded him of his friend Cheese. And that made him happy. And he slept very well, too. And that was the end of the story of Mac and Cheese. Okay, everybody. All right, so I have a couple friends with me here. Let's count them. This is a germ. And this is one germ. Isn't he ugly? One, show me one finger. Two, three germs. Four germs and five germs. Ew, look at those germs. Germs are icky sticky. We do not want them. So we have five little germs sitting in a row. Show me five, good job. The first one said, on hands I like to grow. The second one said, I like to fly in the air. And the third one said, I don't care. The fourth one said, I travel on a, 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 a chew, a sneeze. The fifth one.
and said, wash my hands? Oh, please. No way. Then swish went the water. And bubble goes the soap. And the five little germs. Down the drain they float. All we had to do was put some water on our hands and some soap. And away they go, all the way down the sink. Bye, germs. So let's sing a song together. <clears throat> Goes like this. Wet, wet, wet your hands. Then get some soap, hooray. Scrub, scrub, scrub your hands. And rinse the germs away. Bye, germs. Good job, everybody. All right, it's time for our last song today where we will dance our fingers up, dance our fingers down, dance our fingers side to side and dance them all around. Let's dance them on our shoulders. Let's dance them on our head. Let's dance them on our knees and we'll tuck them into bed. Good night, fingers. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Good night, everybody. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time. Bye.